वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ट्रबल फ्री इन टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द कर्च ऑफ करंट लॉ इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द कर्च ऑफ वोल्टेज लॉ विच इज नथिंग बट द केवियल एंड इट्स रिलेटेड एग्जाम्पल्स नाउ लेट इज लर्न द कर्च ऑफ करंट लॉ विच इज इन शॉर्ट कॉल्ड एस के सी एल अलॉन्ग विद एन एग्जाम्पल सो दैट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड इट मोर बेटर सो फर्स्ट वॉट डज द स्कर्च ऑफ करंट लॉ से इट से इज दैट द एलजीब्राइक सम of the electric currents meeting at a junction or node is equal to zero. Okay, so first of all, what do you mean by a junction? Junction is nothing but it is a point where three or more branches will meet. So what do you mean by junction? It is a point where three or more branches will meet. What do you mean by branch? This is called as a branch. Okay, so. At 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 a particular junction, so this is called as a junction here. So at this junction, whatever currents are meeting, their sum should be equal to zero. Okay. So whatever currents are coming into the junction, they are considered as positive, and whatever the currents are leaving the junction, that is the outgoing currents, they are considered as negative. Okay. And the KCL can also be called as the conservation of charge. So don't worry, I'll explain you. For example, see what is the direction here? It is coming inside the junction, right? So let us assume them as I one, I two, I three, I four, and I five. We have five currents here. So what does Kirchhoff's current law say? Algebraic sum of the electric currents meeting at a junction or node is equal to zero. So all the sum of all these currents. should be equal to what zero so sum of all these currents should be equal to zero let us see how and what did i say here incoming currents should be considered as positive and the outgoing currents should be considered as negative right so here what are the incoming currents i1 is the incoming current so it is considered as positive i2 is going outside so minus i2 and next i3 again it is coming inside so plus I three again I four is also coming inside so plus I four and I five is leaving the junction it is going outside so minus I five is equal to zero. You can also write this as I one plus I three plus I four is equal to I two plus I five. If you send these two negative terms to the other side of the equation, you can write the equation in this way also. Okay. now um we have an example also so let us um try to understand kcl in a more better way by using this example so this is the circuit diagram we are having uh, this is a circuit diagram given this is the given information and we have three uh, sub questions here we have to solve those three sub questions okay so uh, in this circuit diagram we have this is the junction okay so this is the junction and to this junction this current is incoming this is outgoing again this is incoming this is incoming this is outgoing right so find ix iy and iz you have to find ix iy and iz given some conditions okay so first let us try to write the um kirchhoff's current law equation let us consider this as a junction a so at junction a sum of all the currents should be equal to 0 right or you can also write sum of incoming current should be equal to sum of outgoing current right that is what we wrote here right sum of incoming currents is equal to sum of outgoing currents so let us try to form the equation here so here what are incoming currents 5 amperes is incoming current and iz iz is also incoming current iy is also incoming current here ix is outgoing current and 3 amperes is also outgoing current so that is equal to ix plus 3 amperes okay now let us look at each of the question and try to find out find ix when iy is equal to 5a and iz is equal to 3 amperes so this is the main equation that we got so taking the first condition 
and first condition so what does the first condition says i y is equal to 5 and i z is equal to 3 let us substitute these values here so it becomes 5 plus i z is how much 3 plus i y is how much 5 is equal to i x you have to find plus 3 right so here what will happen um wait give me a second yeah we are good so 3 3 will go so we will get i x is equal to 10 amperes okay 5 plus 5 is 10 right so i x is equal to 10 amperes given the first condition now let us go for the second condition find i y if i x is equal to 4 amperes and i z is equal to uh, 4 times of i y this is our uh, equation from the junction right so see the same equation i wrote it here because uh, we don't have place here i just copied the same equation over here now what is our second question find i y if i x is equal to 4 amperes and i z is equal to 4 times of i y so what are the conditions you have to find i y given i x is equal to 4 i z is equal to 4 times of i y so let us substitute the same things over here 5 plus what is i z 4 times of i y plus i y we don't know i x is how much 4 plus 3 so 5 plus 5 i y is equal to 7 so send this 5 to that side it will become 5 i y is equal to 7 minus 5 which is 5 i y is equal to 2 that means i y is equal to how much 2 by 5 okay next what is the third condition find i z if i x is equal to i y is equal to i z okay so what is the third condition i x is equal to i y is equal to i z and you have to find out what i z so again take the same equation 5 plus i z plus i y is equal to i x plus 3 so uh, let us substitute everything with i z because all the three are equal we can take any variable but since we have to find out i z let us keep it so 5 plus i z plus i z plus i z is equal to sorry plus 3 so 5 plus 2 i z is equal to i z plus 3 so send this i z to this side and 5 to this side what do you get 2 i z minus i z is equal to 3 minus 5 that means so what do you mean by minus 2 amperes minus 2 amperes is nothing but the current is flowing in the opposite direction we can assume okay so this is how you solve the Kirchhoff's current law problems. So at a given junction, sum of incoming current should be equal to sum of outgoing current. You know this symbol, right? Summation symbol. So sum of incoming current should be equal to sum of outgoing current. Okay. Just this one logic you have to remember and you can solve. Okay. This is fine. But all the circuits will not be this simple. They will have voltages. They will have uh, resistance. Uh, they will have everything so in that case how you have to solve to solve those kind of problems we have some set of rules i'll tell you what are those rules so in case of a complex network you have to follow these steps first you have to identify all the junctions so what do you mean by a junction where three or more branches will meet a point where it could be voltages it could be resistance it could be anything okay and every time you have to assume the initial voltage v naught which is equal to zero okay and assume unknown current direction and form the kcl equations for each junction sometimes the current direction will not be given see in this example the current direction is clearly given this is incoming this is outgoing this is incoming clearly given but sometimes the current direction will not be given in that case you have to assume it okay assume it and form the kcl equations for each junction 
next important sign conventions that you have to remember is if at all the positive terminal is connected to the negative terminal then you can add the voltages positive is connected to negative that is if opposite signs are connected you can add the voltages suppose if the same signs are connected to each other then you have to subtract the voltages got it you have to minus the voltages simple and current will always flow from higher potential to lower potential higher voltage to lower voltage okay next you know ohm's law right v is equal to ir and from this you can write i is equal to v by r and you can also write r is equal to v by i so these things you have to remember while solving some of the complicated circuits in the next coming videos i'll take up a complicated circuit and i will explain you how we can figure out uh, how we can apply kcl how we can find out currents voltages resistors resistances using that complicated circuit okay so you have to remember all these rules in order to um, work it out okay so thanks for watching the video till the end guys if you still have any doubts just let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to help you out and let me know what other videos you need from my channel thank you